All right, today I'm gonna to show you guys my holster collection. And I know you guys have holster collections too, and I wanna encourage you guys to make holster collection videos because this is something that happens to every gun owner. One day, you're just sitting there minding your own business, and you go to open up a drawer to get something, or open up a box or whatever, and you realize you've been unintentionally collecting holsters. Just holsters that have just appeared. You don't even know where they all came from. You don't even think you have the guns that go with the holsters you have, or you have four or five or six holsters all for the same gun. You didn't even realize you had that many because there's only one you ever use. For whatever reason, we all have a holster collection. Today, I'm going to show you mine. Come along for the ride, okay? Today, I'm going to start with the uh, leather holsters. Uh, here we go. We have a little uh, Barsoni. Barsini? I don't know. It's from South America somewhere, maybe? No. No? It says Oregon. All right, whatever. Just a little holster. I don't remember what gun I bought this for. I don't know. I don't know what this goes to. It's a little uh, inside the waistband holster with a metal clip. I do like the metal clip. I don't know what gun that goes to. Uh, this is my Ruger LCR leather holster. What is this? DeSantis number 001 N3. This is a great holster. This is a great pancake style holster. I do love this holster. I've just taken to pocket carrying my LCR now, so I don't use this one anymore. Um, here we have out out rags out bags USA. I don't. I don't. Again, I don't know what gun this goes to. It looks like I might have bought this for my wife. One of my wife's little guns. She's got that little Keltec P32. I don't know. Maybe. Who knows? Um, oh, this is my. Uh, this was for many years my go-to Glock 26. Uh, inside the waistband holster. This is a Blackhawk holster, single clip. I love it. You can uh, adjust the tension here, hard back there. This is a great inside the waistband holster. It's uh, It's got many years of wear on it. I love it. That is a highly recommended holster as far as I'm concerned if you've got a Glock 26. So um, next up we've got just a basic, this is another, this is another Barsony. Barsony? Barsoni from Beaverton, Oregon. Anyway, uh, I got this one because it fits all my uh, my uh, Makarov pistols. So my little P64 fits in here, the P83 fits in here, the uh, uh, Makarov itself fits in here. I kind of got this and it fits all of them. It's just a real simple pancake holster with a clip, but it works. I haven't used it that often. Uh, this is my Glock 40, my Glock 40, my Glock 21 holster. This is a Bianchi or Bianchi or I don't know. What is this, model 82? And it's got a little, uh, kind of a thumb break. It's more like an index finger break when you uh, pull the pistol. Works pretty well. I like it. It's a good solid holster. It's got good retention. Uh, this is my Every Second Matters holster for my Glock 17 that was made by uh, Nate over at Sheepdog Leather. And uh, this is a great holster. He, he, like, overbuilt this one. The leather on this damn thing is thick as shit. I mean, this holster is going to last. My grandkids are going to still have this holster, <laughs> basically. Uh, this is a cheap Allen holster that I got for one of my revolvers so that I could open carry it when I go hunting because I like to carry uh, my 357 with me when I go hunting and I just needed something simple for a revolver holster. I think this one thing was 20 bucks at like Academy or something. I don't know. Um, okay, shitty holsters. Here's shitty holsters. <laughs> I've got this. This is a BB gun holster that I have actually used in vehicles and stuff for smaller guns. Um, this one is, what is this? I don't even know what this is. This is probably an airsoft holster. I have no idea. I don't know if this is even a real holster. I mean, it seems to work. I've used it before. I think I picked this up at like a thrift store or something. I was like, ah, oh, another holster. Why not? Uh, you could use it to like car mount a gun or something like that. Um, let's see. Oh, let's do Serpas. Here's my Serpa collection. My Blackhawk Serpas. Uh, this one fits... What is this one for? My m &P. This one is for my wife's SIG, I think. And this one is for my Taurus Judge. All right, so there you go. There's that. All right, let's talk um, uh, Milserp holsters, right? Milserp. So I got these two, and one of these came with the P64, and I think the other one came with the Makarov, but I don't know which one's which. Or maybe one of these came with the Toker, or uh, so I don't even know. I, I these two Milserp holsters, right? I don't know. They came with some of my Milserp goods. And in this one, I picked up at uh, a thrift store or Goodwill or something. This is just the uh, standard M9 holster, which they call, what is this called? It actually has a designation. Is it called the M11? No, it's called the M12. So this is a military uh, holster for the Beretta M9. And because I did my, my uh, little Taurus uh, PT92, which is Beretta M9-ish, uh, in the zombie thing, I went and I, I 
like I got the little biohazard symbol and I splashed like red paint to make it look like blood and stuff on it just to fit with the zombie theme because why not? I'm never going to use that holster, but you know, hey. All right, let's get into some polymer stuff. Uh, little Phobos holster I bought from my wife's uh, Keltec, little P32. It just doesn't work, man. Every time she would pull it, it just pulls the whole holster off. I can't get the damn thing to work right. So, and I adjusted the tension, and the only way you could get it to work right was if you adjusted the tension so loose that the gun had, there was no there was no retention. The gun would would fall out if she sat down wrong. So that was pointless. This is the uh, what is it, the Alien Gear Shapeshift. I like this. I was I was carrying this for a while until I got into pocket carry. I actually I actually do like this holster. I've done a full review on it. It's actually a really good holster. So that's uh, it's cool. You know, you, you can be inside the waistband, outside the waistband, pancake style holster, appendix carry, all kinds of stuff. So it's pretty cool little setup. All right, what do we got here? I think I've got a few from the same place. This is a CXP. This is by Arm Civilian Five Five Six on YouTube. If he's still out there, he made me this one, and he made me the one that I keep my Glock 26 in, which is my go-to uh, outside the waistband carry. I love this one. This one's so small. It's just, the holster is almost non-existent. It's just enough to hold onto your belt and uh, cover the trigger guard. It's great. I love that holster. And this is the other one he made me, which is a little more flexible. And it's just two cool different designs that he made. I um, really love those. My Forest City Tactical. Absolutely love this one. Also, for These are all for Glock 26, by the way. That's what I'm saying. I got like five different holsters for my Glock 26. But uh, Four City Tactical, this is a fantastic holster as well. Um, he made this one for me, I don't know, years ago, man. I love it. I love it. Uh, I got a couple MP holsters here. This one, this one, this one's from Four City Tactical. He made me this one too. And this is for my MP. Um, oh, such a great holster. Four City Tactical does great stuff. This one, unfortunately, I don't remember who made this. Somebody on YouTube made this for me and sent it to me. It's also for my MP. And it's a great holster. Um, I just don't remember who made it. I have no idea. It's not marked, and I don't remember. And like you know, Four City Tactical and, and Armed Civilian, they marked the back of theirs, so I know where they came from. Um, and then, out of what I've got here, last but certainly not least, I've got my little uh, my Ares Armory. These little guardians, little uh, clips for when I pocket carry, because I love to pocket. I've just fallen in love with pocket carrying, and so I've got these little clips. So when you put this to your uh, belt loop, as you pull the gun up to present, this catches on your belt loop. And then just pops off like that, and there I hit the camera, but uh, it pops off like that, and there you go. Um, and in fact, if anybody out there has a Glock 42, let me know, because last time I ordered one, and I think I ordered it for one of my wife's guns, um, I ordered one for her. They sent me an extra one for a Glock 42, and I don't know why. I don't own a Glock 42. This thing's been sitting here, and it's just this little clip for you to pocket carry a Glock 42. So if anybody wants to try one out, I don't know, let me know, and I'll send it to you, but... That's it. There's my holster collection. There's just all these holsters here all over the place. It just... Why? Why? I don't know. Somebody count them all for me and tell me how many I have. I don't know, but it's far too many, especially considering half of them all go to the same damn guns. But there you go. There's my holster collection. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Now go make your own holster collection video.